everybody, my name is Wolfswinger and welcome back to a brand new part in the LEGO Harry Potter complete 100% walkthrough for years 1 through 4. The reason why I'm clarifying that is because of course LEGO Harry Potter came out as two separate games. It was the years 1 through 4 game, then there was the years 5 through 7 video game, but then later on as time passed they actually got combined into one election package so you could go on ahead and buy them together quote unquote so with that in mind today we are headed to level number three we're completing one level every single part so of course so far we have 100 completion on the magic begins as well as out of the dungeon so today we have a very 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 exciting level because this of course is the jinxed broom aka the quidditch level we have lots of work to do fortunately we already have the true wizard rank which is cool for this one but we still do need to rescue the student in peril still unlock two other character tokens and three other house crests for this level to be 100 percent complete so with that in mind let's get rocking and let's get rolling with the next part in our lego harry potter adventure here we go everybody we got the leaky cauldron in the bottom right corner getting us all prepared and started with the quidditch stands okay so let's get these flags here activated there are seven of them in total okay do, 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 do. a little bit of reassembly work Wow, there's the opportunity to get a lot, a lot of studs here, huh? Right off the bat, too. Which is brilliant. Of course, I am using a stud multiplier. But even without the stud multiplier, obviously because I already had the true wizard rank, it means that it's very easy to get the true wizard rank in this level. So it shouldn't be too much of a struggle or too much of an effort that will be required to get to that particular rank in this mode. Whoa! Okay. Oh, we just got a Slytherin player flying through. That was pretty intense. Let's fly across. Huh. Okay, well, curiously enough, Hermione, I wonder if we could use her help with getting that fly. Okay. It wasn't even the flag, it was more so to use the broom. Oh, it's impossible. I was hoping maybe we could use the broom to get up there to get the um, Ravenclaw house crest. That would have been really cool, but unfortunately it does not permit you to do that. Well, still got a pretty good amount of studs collected, so that's pretty brilliant. Let's get this flag activated. And same thing goes with this. That chest back there most likely probably has a character token in it. Yep, it sure does. So that is Fred in his Quidditch attire. Now it's time to do a little bit of fixing around here because this little puzzle tunnel needs to be fixed up. Come on. Good work, Harry Potter. It is a little odd to be playing as Harry Potter in this level, because of course, technically Harry Potter's in the background all the time on the broom flying around. So it's like, wait, what? Are you an imposter Potter? An impot an impotter instead of an impot Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop I'll stop with the terrible jokes. <laughs> okay. Let's get Crookshanks to help us out. I always love the <laughs> I don't know what happens to Crookshanks. Like look at the length of the cat here, right? It's like, oh okay, yeah, perfectly normal size and then squished. It's like, are you comfortable? I don't know how that happens, but cool. Let's, I guess, go up here. Wow! So, by spooking uh, that student there, you end up getting, okay, access to a whole lot of stuff, actually. Okay, so... I guess we could just switch, actually, now that I think about it. There's no need for us to continue to play as that particular character. Okay. So. The first piece of this puzzle. How would we make it up there? Well, we're gonna try. That's how. No! No! No, no. 
Okay. Yeah, well that did not go as planned. There we go. Might be able to just make it up there from here. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. And... Wait, what? <laughs> I got so excited, I was like, and? And then, nothing. There we go. That is what we came here for. We're trying to get those crests collected. Okay, so brilliantly, we don't have to really assemble that exact structure. Like, I guess you could, if you just, like, slowly finagle this properly there. Then you would have to take this piece, which would come down about there. And then this. Nope. Come on. There we go. So if you build it perfectly, you do get some studs, and then you have, like, the perfect staircase. But as you saw, you can avoid all that and just build one block, and then that's plenty of space to already make the jump. So it's uh, relatively easy, even without doing, like, a perfect structure for that particular staircase build there. Okay. Let's clear this out to rescue the student in peril. Seems to be trapped here. And with that rescue completed, what we can focus on is gathering some more studs, which is obviously awesome. Now, for this one, we would need to cast Immobilus to defeat these guys. Then we'll see what it is that they are holding up there. Maybe it's just some studs. Nope, it's actually an important item, and that is a house crest. Okay, so... Next up, we need to build something for the wonderfully, brilliantly smart Hermione to use because she has the ability to use um, the book puzzles. Now, they're not really much of a puzzle. They're pretty straightforward and simplistic, but that's fine. Okay. We've cleared the path, folks. And as we make our way through, another one of these little flags that needs to be raised. It's number six, in fact. You have this little rattler that you can activate for a few more studs. Okay. Lots more studs. And the last flag that needs to be raised here. So that right there would be your Gryffindor house flag. Or house crest. We already had it, so that's why we had it. was because, obviously, going into this, I had already activated it. All right, I think we could still make the jump happen. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's find out together. Oh! Excuse me! What do you mean? How dare he push us away? Turn that switch. That Slytherin student is not letting us pass. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks for the help. Much appreciated. And then we... Okay... I'm like, and then we can make our way through, and nothing happens. Wait, what? I just made that jump before. There we are. That's actually a pretty nice amount of studs there. That you can collect just by activating those two banners there. Okay, I don't necessarily know what just happened there. I guess somehow by cleaning up... Hey, what are they trying to say? We were wiping things off and they wiped us away? They're like, you're dead. Get out of here. The disrespect is real, huh? The disrespect is real, I tell ya. Okay, that's a pretty wonderful little staircase put together. Looks almost like Minecraft style. With the block design on there. Oh, and here we run into our first issue. We don't have a dark wizard to activate this. So that's a problem. Because obviously that means that we would not be able to 100% complete this. So, that will require us to take an intermission in a little bit. To go on ahead and unlock a Dark Wizard character in-game. 
so that we can then complete this particular section here. But for now, let's just get all this set. I mean, I figure maybe I'll, I'll check. Maybe you can. Nope. Yeah, I, I just don't think we have any characters that are going to have the dark wizardry ability. Which stinks, of course, but... Hey, it gives us the opportunity to get a cool new character unlocked, so... I'm a fan of that. Okay, there's a lot of fireworks here that need to be, uh... Set off. Whoa! Yeah, there they go. Boom shakalaka. In the meantime, we can proceed further. I don't think you can destroy these crates any further to get, like, more studs. So I think that just remains the way it is. Wait, did the spider come back and rebuild it? Yep. Yeah. Those spiders are relentless, I tell you. Okay, so. With that in mind, we get our character unlocked. We get two, or sorry, three quarters of the house crest unlocked. Our stud total increases substantially, which is brilliant. We did rescue the student in peril, which means we're going to get a gold brick for that. So that is fantastic. There's our gold brick rising to 75. But that obviously still leaves us without 100% completion on this level. So I'm going to take a quick moment, guys, to go on ahead and unlock one of these dark art wizard characters so that we can go on ahead and interact with that last little bit of the level and then of course most importantly get 100% completion on a jinxed broom now the other thing that I did remember just now there is still a character token to be collected as well as a house crest so we'll be right back to complete those two tasks Alrighty, guys, so as you can see, we have Professor Snape along with actually Professor McGonnell also unlocked. So now we can finally use the dark magic to open this up, which gives us a character token for Marcus Flint. Very cool. Now, wait on a minute. I just realized there's still a Slytherin house crest that we did not collect. Well, what is up with that? I wonder... Where did that get missed out on? Because I obviously had missed that component. This ends the level. Right? So that's wrong. Hmm. Curious, curious me. Let's drop down for a second at least. Take a look back at what it is that we might have missed. There's a Slytherin flying around, a Slytherin student flying around, so maybe that is somehow related? I wonder. Can't tag that again. Let's drop down for a second. We're gonna double back all the way through here. Can't do much about that. There's the student again. I just saw him in the foreground there. We can't activate anything over here, so that is interesting. Hmm. It's just very... Interesting, just in the sense that, where could have, could they have hidden this? Now, I did just spot something that has caught my eye. Sure, let's do a little bit of double backing. So we're going to put that together. Hop here. Then, we must go this way. Come up here. And this is where things are going to get even more so interesting than before. Because I wonder if it's all the way back here. That's a very well hidden item. I have to say, I am shocked that they did such a good job of hiding this thing. And the only thing that gave this away was the Slytherin crest and this purple stud here. Otherwise, I would have not even discovered that. But on the bright side, we are now done. We can save and exit and call this level 100% completed. We got Marcus Flint unlocked. 
And, of course, we did manage to get the house crest unlocked as well. So as you can see, one of the key things that you need to have unlocked when you're going into this level is to make sure that you have the Dark Arts Wizard unlocked, or a Dark Arts Wizard unlocked. There's quite a few of them in the game. Snape is probably one of the easier ones to unlock, so that might be one of the first ones that you go after. Thank you guys so, so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and of course, have an absolutely fantastic day. Don't forget to tune in to the next part, which will feature level number four. Wow, we're already on level four, almost done with year one of LEGO Harry Potter.